Hi there, and welcome to today's session. Today we're going to look at Chat GPT and how to share prompts. First thing we're going to do is get an account if we have one. We're going to click on the login so we can log in. Let's do that now. I log in with my Google account, so let me do that real quick. Now it's really important to create new chats because if you're going to use the old ones, uh, it's going to continue with that in mind and you may not want that or you may want it, but make sure that you realize that you need to create a new chat if you're going to do something new. And I've already created one. Notice here uh, how to cite chat GPT in APA, just to add that. I'll add it later on to my web quest and credit. Notice what's um, here. The prompt is write a web quest introduction to the use of chat GPT to create a web quest. And then welcome to the web quest on using chat GPT to create and so on. It's right here. What I'm going to do, and it's really, really simple. I'm on Chrome though. You can't do this on Safari. So make sure that, notice that's the prompt. And uh, that's the information that I got. Let me uh, go on to do this. I'm going to hit share prompt over here. Okay, and notice it's a new chat. That's what I call it, but I might want to change that to WebQuest on the use of chat GPT to create WebQuest. Now that's a really long prompt, isn't it? I would just say chat GPT to create WebQuests. Okay, and then I can have the topic here, the topic, and decide. Now notice this is optional. I don't have to have this, but since I want to share it with others, I might. Now notice here, there is nothing related to education. Not really anyways, so you're going to have to find something here that's uh, of interest. So in this case, I might just want to write teacher. I think this is relevant to teachers. And then select a tag. And I can write web quest. Okay, that's enough. Uh, create web quest. And then author's name, that's me. Let me just make it of interest here by adding my, okay. And then I can add my author's uh, URL. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add youtube.com slash at Nelly Deutsch. All right, buy me a coffee. Then I'm going to save the prompt. It's really important that you don't go through all of this and then forget to save because in some places you don't have to save, right? And in this case, you do. All right, so there it is. Notice prompt shared successfully, prompt shared successfully. All right, so there it is. Next, you're going to go to DataFit. Notice right here. And notice it's an extension, which I already have. You're going to add it to Chrome. It's free or Firefox or Edge, whatever you're using. Let me go into mine. Now notice what data fit is. It's chat GPT prompts community. And what you can do here is you can find prompts. This is really useful. You can share prompts, which is what I'm going to do, what I've done, or be some, or pat yourself on the back. You deserve it if you make it public. All right, so notice I've got two here. One is under renewable energy and I've added some others to it. Instead of creating a new one, it's really important to make sure that you create a new one if you want something new or if you want to add something. But if you want something new, you've got to create a new chat and this is it. Now you don't see very much here. So we're going to go into it. So the prompt was write a web quest introduction to the use of chat GPT to create web quests. And then notice this is the introduction. I continued writing. Uh, let me take you there now. Quest. Um, notice that I've completed it or at least the chat GPT did. 
I'm going to add the introduction. Only uh, this I'm going to copy and paste it in Create a Web Quest. So let me just copy it. So this is a web quest about using Chat GPT to create web quests. So uh, let me go into what is a web quest. Login. You need to log in to create your web quest. So I'm going to log in. If you don't have an account, you'll need to create one. So that's my username and password. Okay, if you forget it, they'll help you. So that's not a problem. So notice that's uh, the first one that I have. I'm going to create, click on create web quest. And the title is, uh, well, I'll get to the title in a minute. Let me just add the introduction. The title is um, using chat GPT to create web quests. quests. There we are. And then I'm going to add each one here. I can save it for now. Okay, I can publish it, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to save it. And then I'll go through each one. Uh, I can edit or delete, but I'm going to go to the next area after the introduction. Let me go into edit when I'm done with it. Um, next, I'm going to go to through process and go back into chat GPT and add the process notice uh first the task sorry about that so the task let me just copy it and that's how you do it okay really really easy let me just get this uh, there's a lot here on chat on task okay uh, there we are so that's the task notice there's good luck there too amazing work you know I, I don't think I could do it any better. I mean, I might improve on it, but it's really amazing. So there it is. Um, let me go back to here to the process, uh, the process, the task, actually the task, and then we'll get to the process. And that's how you do it. All right. Uh, you simply publish it. I think I'll publish it one by one. I think that's a lot easier. Let's go back to so we've got the introduction we've got the task next is um, the process so let's go into edit and then add the process go back into chat gpt for the process get that notice here the process is the step by step okay these are the instructions that student get and notice that chat gpt came up with eight which is absolutely amazing when you think about it all right so we'll add the process notice they don't have resources here i spoke to them about this apparently um, they they forgot it uh, and it's too difficult for them to add it but you can add the resources under credits and then i'm going to go through the evaluation and so on if you if you want to see what I've done so far, I'll add this in the description of this video. Thank you for watching. Questions, questions, and questions are great. So feel free to ask them and I'll be happy to answer. Have a great day and happy web questing with ChatGPT and Create Web Quest. They're all free and are lifesavers.